seen in his business. Absolutely no question about it. And uh, Stone Man Alex Dean eventually capturing the NWC Florida Heavyweight Championship, losing it to primetime Daryl D a couple of weeks ago here at our NWC Championship Studios. And uh, look at this great arm drag takedown by Stone Man Alex Dean, mate, Mike. That uh, looked to me like he grabbed a bit of the tights there to get him over. You know, you said something interesting before that these two have met before. You want to know where they met when Stone Man was trying to steal a wall out of the back of Miser Moore's pocket. Again, comments by me, Mike Larry, not necessarily NWC, and now Soul Man Alex G got in with that wrist lock on uh, Andre Meisen Moore. And Falcon, if you're going to take one of these wrestlers off their feet, you better get them off their feet and try to go for the pin early because these two guys are very quick, very fast, and very quick as far as intellectual is concerned when it comes to the professional wrestling rank. Yeah, they, they have a lot of ring smarts. I mean, between the two of them, I mean, there's a lot of wrestling knowledge in there. And Alex gets in deep with that arm drag. So man gets in deep with that arm drag. He senses his in. He works that arm. You know, Miles has problems with his with his shoulder, and they know that, and they work on that. And he's working on it now. He's working on that joint, weakening it. He could dislocate it if he wants to. Absolutely. Last couple of weeks, the so man Alex Sheen and Ram Man Johnny have come out here. They have worked on that left arm. They have found the weakness in Andre Miles and more. And look at that, so man. Right now, I me, mean, Mike, it looks like Soul Man Alex G is, uh, he's taking care of business right now. Mike Zamora taking a case of the retreat outside the ring, and somehow, some way, they have found the weakness on Mike Zamora. You know, say, that's, that's smart of Soul Man to go out after him, because, you know, a lot of wrestlers like Miser, they, they go outside the ring to buy time, collect their thoughts, plot their next move. Watch them walk around and watch them collect their thoughts and watch them get their get their breather. But so man, the experienced wrestler that he is, he went out after them. He's not giving them a chance to do anything. Well, you know what I want to know is why is so man picking on fabulous Frank? Fabulous Frank was minding his own business, hadn't interfered in the match, hadn't done anything at all. All he was doing was what he paid to do on that offer council. The miser more so man had no business being out there and putting his hands on fabulous Frank. Don't ever interrupt me when I'm talking. When Frank put himself in a wrestler's place, he's going to be treated as a wrestler. Hey, stupid, he was outside the ring doing what he's paid to do. Shows what you know, moron. What? I have to agree, Falcon, Falcon, with me, Mike, on that. He was paying attention, and Soul Man did take a swipe at him. My personal opinion, managers don't need to be out there. We have no need for managers in this business. All they do is call honest wrestlers to lose money and lose food out of the family's mouths and everything else. Absolutely, and that's a good point brought up by Flying Falcons. I also agree with that, that managers should not be along the ringside. Like they cause distractions, mean Mike Larry. Well, your opinion means absolutely nothing, and the only reason he's against managers is because there ain't one stupid enough to sign him to a contract because he's been a loser, he is a loser, and he'll never be anything more than a loser. In my opinion, if you ain't got enough brand to think for yourself, you don't need to be a wrestler. Absolutely, gentlemen. Let's try to keep it down here. Meanwhile, back in the ring, Soul Man Alley. Uh oh, and there's Miser Moore. Again, Soul Man taking his eyes off Miser. When you do that, you could be in a lot of trouble, me, Mike. Yeah, well, Soul Man showing his own stupidity. You sir, there he goes, dropped him right on his noggin. That ought to do it. Covering one, two, three, and Don Meredith used to say, turn out the lights, brother, the party's over. Absolutely no question about it. Miser Moore should be going right in for the pin. Now he does. He finds Soul Man flat on the canvas. And a two count, Robbie Waters says, a two count. Well, you see, if the referee would have been in position to make the count there, this one would have been over. Absolutely good point by me, Mike Larry. Body slam, Miser Moore on Soul Man Alex G. And the elbow coming right across, not going in for the pin. And again, Soul Man Alex G able to slide out of that one there, Flying Falcon. But right now, the cobwebs are in the... Shall we say he's more of the discombobulated right now. The cobwebs are showing him. It looks like Miser Moore is TCP taking care of business right here in the middle of the match. Yeah, he's not giving So Man a chance to breathe at all, which is, you know, I don't blame him. So Man is a skilled athlete. You give him an opening, So Man will take the finish on you quick. And Miser knows that he's taking advantage of the situation while he's down right now. But So Man is not giving up. He's not giving an inch. He's got the fans behind him. He wants his championship belt back. And he don't plan on walking out of here a loser. Good point made by Flying Falcon. Now, Mike Zamora with a bit of a sleeper hold on, a half sleeper hold on, Soul Man Alex G there, mean Mike Larry. That's called a rear chin lock, me head. And what's happening here is Andre Moore is just squeezing the life's blood out of Soul Man Alex G. You know what that is? That's nothing more than reflex action. And if these idiot people over here would sit on a shot, maybe Mike Zamora could finish this off if the referee. 
referee would get possession. These people came here to have a good time. They paid their money. They can yell if they want to. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. Ah, they didn't pay a dime. You know what I know. And everybody in here knows that they're nothing but a bunch of freeloaded flies. Well, comments by me, Mike Laird, and flying, talking, but not necessarily the end of the But meanwhile, back in the ring, Mike's no more. And he's got so man Alex G. Huff. He's got him up. And if he can just get him over. Starting the money, brother, because this is good as it. And where's over Soul Man Alex? Goodbye, Soul Man Alex. Screaming. 